National Preparedness Month. Cordage. This is bank line. Number 36 bank line and there's lots of different manufacturers and sizes of bank line. Most of y'all are very familiar with paracord, um, parachute cord, 550 cord, and there's legit paracord and then there's, you know, Chinese bullshit paracord. But I think a lot of people overlook bank line and they don't typically carry enough cordage. So the reason you're going to carry things like cordage rather than make things like cordage is you can make it, but man, it's a hell of a lot of work. Like I've got some paracord right here on my ferro rod, right? I'm wearing a chest rig, the saw rig right now. And so I don't have a bunch of paracord on my saw rig, but I do have bank line. A few, this is 50 foot of bank line right here. It has a fairly high tensile strength. It's made up of individual strands that have been twisted so you can separate individual strands for repairing equipment or suturing or dental floss or whatever, this bank line. It's also waxed, so it sticks to itself real well. It holds knots really well. And so, you know, making a poncho hooch shelter, um, yeah, you need some type of cordage for that, or triggers and snares, um, you know, for procuring food while in the wild. But cordage is difficult to make. It's not that it can't be made in the wild, but it's very time consuming, therefore calorie consuming to make cordage. So you should carry some. And I carry at a minimum in my bug out kits, when I'm gonna bug out an SHTF bro, a minimum of a hundred foot of paracord on me and usually I carry 200 foot 100 foot section and then another hundred foot section that has been cut into six um, six foot lengths and four 16 foot lengths because I found if I need a ridge line or something a 16 foot length is really good to go for making a uh, poncho hooch or a tarp shelter or whatever the six foot lengths are great replacement boot laces, or uh, which also, bank line, great replacement boot lace. Um, they're really good for lashing things, tying one thing to another thing. So I found over, I don't know, 15, 20 years of cutting paracord that I'm usually cutting it to a length of about six feet or about 16 feet. So I'll carry six, six footers, four 16 footers, and then a hundred foot hank. And that saves me from having to cut cordage in the field and uh, burn the ends and the whole nine. But don't sleep on uh, bank line. This stuff's really good. And you, you can see it holds its shape, right? That's because it's waxed. And so you should be carrying some type of cordage with you in your kits because it's way easier to just pull it out of your kit than it is to stop and have to make some. And predominantly it's gonna be used for, like I said, shelter making and maybe for snares, traps, etc. cetera, uh, depending on who you are and what you eat. But don't sleep on the cordage, you need cordage. And then also think about like, well, I don't have paracord, I don't have bank cord. Do you have bailing twine? Like, do you live on a farm? Do you have bailing twine? Is there some old clothesline around? Like, depending on what you're doing, does cordage have to be rope type? Could it be old fence, fencing wire, old electrical wire? You know, what, am, what exactly am I doing with this? So think outside the box a little bit on cordage. You need to have some in your survival SHTF when the world ends kits. But it doesn't necessarily have to be, you know, exactly what everybody else is doing. You need a way to lash stuff together. Make poncho hooches, make temporary shelter, trip wires, etc., etc. That's what I do. I do carry paracord, but I also carry bank line, like I said, in my chest rig. So I got it on me at all times because this chest rig is not set up for fighting in the zombie apocalypse. 
it's set up for uh, wilderness survival. You know, you might also think about things like duct tape. Is that cordage? Well, I mean, it fastens one thing to another thing, plus it can also be used for starting fire, as can bank line. Plus, you know, um, it has the adhesive has antiseptic properties. So yeah, you know, in a way it's cordage. What about a small sewing repair kit for repairing your gear? Yeah, that's cordage, right? So it doesn't necessarily mean rope or small rope. Don't sleep on cordage. Y'all have a blessed day. Shalom.